Ah, New Balance, it's been a while. Ginger Runner. What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. In fact, this week, we've got a lot of reviews. I am shooting to do a new review every single day, Monday through Friday, starting with today, Monday. So for the next five days, you'll be getting a new review. I just have a lot of catching up to do, and I thought you would get a kick out of it. So you're going to want to make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell notification next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time I upload a new video this week. Welcome to review number one from New Balance, the Hierro version three. It's muy caliente. All right. So yeah, it's been a long time since I've reviewed a New Balance trail shoe. Uh, this one tickled my fancy. It seemed to have this fun mix of things that I've really loved and enjoyed about the New Balance trail offerings. Grippy outsole, wide and accommodating forefoot, utilizing some of this fresh foam midsole material for that added go long comfort and decent durability. Uh, I still have these fond moist dreams about the New Balance 1010 V2. I don't know why I use the word moist. I apologize to those with the aversion to the word, but I miss the 1010 V2 for New Balance. It was one of my favorite trail shoes from the very early days of the Ginger Runner. So since that shoe, I've always looked forward to trying and reviewing new New Balance trail shoes, hoping that one of the new trail pairs will capture some of that original 1010 V2 spirit, give me a fast, comfortable, light shoe that just shreds trails. Well, the New Balance Hiero version 3 isn't a 1010 V2 incarnate. It is still an interesting shoe. While it doesn't come close to giving me that original spark, it does have some redeeming qualities for crushing the trails, which do seem to be a bit outweighed by my issues with the shoe. So I'm going to break down the New Balance Hero version 3 piece by piece, telling you the things that I like and dislike about the shoe, as always, starting with things that I like. The fresh foam. So, the Hero version 3 utilizes this New Balance concoction that they've been using in a lot of their shoes, both road and trail, for a long time. If you remember some of my early reviews, you know that the fresh foam didn't quite do it for me. It was marketed as this super soft, very plush midsole material for New Balance shoes, and it just never met up to that expectation. They have since shifted that marketing and definitely made it a more responsive yet comfortable midsole. I agree that in this shoe, that is exactly what it is. It is great for long runs. It gives you that responsive feel, but also added protection. So you get tons of protection from below on sharp rocks, all that sort of technical trail stuff. I do like the thickness of it. It's like wearing armor underneath. It allows the shoe to work in a variety of environments comfortably. Another thing I like, the durability. So one thing that this shoe has proven is that New Balance can make a very durable shoe, something that'll last for long miles, lots of different weather conditions, the multi-layer mesh upper with this almost plasticine layer on the outside, plus a Vibram outsole and that fresh foam midsole just provide you protection from all sides and durability that'll last for a long time. Definitely no problems busting through the seams here on the upper. Connection points between the midsole and the upper are holding up really strong. And of course, with any Vibram outsole, the rubber is lasting a long time. It's not wearing down in those hot spots or troubled areas. I I'm a big fan of the durability of the shoe. It'll definitely go the long time. Oh, if only there were more things about the shoe that I was just super jazzed on. Here are the things I dislike about the Hero version three. This first dislike is the biggest dislike, fit. I believe it is the biggest shortcoming of this shoe. The overall fit has been nothing short of a disaster. The upper does provide you with a lot of flexion. Despite the touch and feel of the materials, you would think that it's a very stiff, hard upper. It's not. It gives you lots of movement to a detriment, specifically right here around the ankle collar. In design, is actually pretty cool. It definitely keeps out dirt, rocks, debris from getting into your sock liner and causing all sorts of mischief. The problem is that it's just so stretchy that my foot couldn't get any sort of lockdown in the ankle whatsoever. You don't get the additional lace holes or anything like that to double tighten the laces down. What you do get is the webbing materials that do attach to some of the laces here across the midfoot. So the midfoot fit is great, but the looseness and stretch of the forefoot and up into the toe box and the looseness and stretch of the ankle work with each other to make this platform so loosey goosey that it's really difficult to enjoy a run up or down a hill in these things without feeling like you're going to slip off the platform or cause an issue. Uh, it's scary. Before you keyboard warriors say, oh, well, you need to get a different size. I've tried different sizes. And unfortunately, size 11, which is my size, is the only length of this shoe that will actually work without causing any problems along the toe box. I'm not going to go to the wide versions of the shoe because it already provides enough width for me. It's just an overall problem with fitment. Breathability. Uh, I do like the durability of the upper. Unfortunately, because of the multi layers and the actual materials that they're using, the breathability of this shoe uh, is lacking. In fact, it's a very hot shoe. Been a hot summer here in the Pacific Northwest. When my feet get sweaty, the shoe gets wet and it actually doesn't let much of the moisture out whatsoever. You got lots of little perforations in this top layer of the upper. You would hope that it would release the moisture out of the shoe. Unfortunately, it, it, it doesn't. Wait. 
13.1 ounces. It's the half marathon in ounces of shoes. It's quite heavy. There is a lot going on here with this shoe. The upper multi-layer, the midsole, and the outsole all in combination form a heavy combination that definitely tips the scales with this guy just beyond what I like in a long distance running shoe. Yes, there are other shoes that are heavier, there are also a lot of shoes that are light. Over 13 ounces in size 11 is certainly on the beastly end of things. Looks like we've both been grabbing that extra slice of pizza. And finally, outsole design. You'll notice there's lots of lugs. Uh, that's a good thing, but unfortunately, all of the lugs are tapered in such a way to not really allow them to grip with themselves. You're going to rely specifically on the Vibram rubber grip to get a lot of the grip on wet or slippery surfaces because the lugs themselves, the angle at which they are tapered, does not give you that latch sort of lug grippy claw talon action. And what I noticed with the lugs on this specific outsole is that you're getting more surface contact with the ground. In theory, you'd think that that's a good thing. In dry conditions, it can be, but anytime that the surface is wet or slippery, your chances of sliding are increased. It's at least what I noticed on the wet days here in the Pacific Northwest. I wish it was a bit grippier. But that's, I mean, ultimately it for dislikes with the shoe. There are some good things, there are some bad things. I would hope it would lean more towards the positives. I really wanted to like the shoe. We'll see what version four has in store. So finally, in conclusion, let's get a little bit more specific here. Build quality. Uh, this is where the shoe excels for sure. Uh, it's a durable shoe. I like the fresh foam in the shoe. I think everything is stitched and put together quite well. It'll last you a long time. The comfort with that fresh foam midsole being really responsive, and also providing you with a bit of comfort for the long runs, uh, it is a comfortable shoe. That is, if you can get it tightened down to your feet correctly, which brings us to fit, uh, this is where the shoe just lacks completely. I, I could not get a good fit in the shoe, no matter how many times I stopped mid-run to tighten it, loosen it, uh, it either hurt or was uncomfortable across the midfoot or was too loose and allowed my foot to slide all over the place, regardless the ankle and the forefoot just could not get any sort of lockdown or comfort at all. Ugh. Price, $124. It's a good price point if the shoe just hit on all marks. You are going to want to make sure that the shoe fits you first, especially at that $124 price point. Uh, and finally, looks, this is not the most attractive colorway that the shoe comes in. There are two others, which I really like, super bright, nice and fluorescent, but uh, this colorway, not the best, stick to one of the bright versions. Which brings us to our final column of critique, and that is, uh, is the shoe itself a buy, try, or a why? In this case, I'm going to give it a borderline try, why? I want you to try the shoe on and see if it fits. If it fits your foot, your ankle, and, and you can get a good lockdown in the shoe, you might have a ton of success in this shoe. I have friends who have run very long distances in it because it fits their feet well. For me, uh, I just couldn't get a good lockdown in the ankle. Uh, you, I, you've just watched the whole review, you know. So that is my review of the New Balance Hero version 3. Uh, have you tried the shoe on? Have you run in it? What do you guys think? In the comments of this video, let me know what you think of the shoe. And as always, if you want more info on the shoe or you would like to get a pair for yourself, there are links in the description. Just click the more info and you'll get all the links over to Running Warehouse and the affiliate of the channel. So it helps us and helps you. That, my friends, is it for the review. If you liked it, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe to this channel and also click the little notification bell. We're going to be doing reviews all week, so you're going to want to see all those. It should be a lot of fun. Lots of cool reviews coming up and social media links that's where they are uh they're all fun to follow if you want to do that and if you want to help this channel survive for as little as a dollar a month on patreon.com slash the ginger runner you get access to a lot of our post shows for our live shows cool perks discount codes all that good stuff uh it's just right there so consider it if you haven't already it's a pretty cool program otherwise that's it all right i hope you guys are having a blast running get out there train hard race harder party the hardest i know i am we'll see you guys in the coming days for more reviews it should be fun Okie dokie. Bye. Bye.